What's good? Shiz Beats back. Um, I ain't do this in a little bit, but you know, I'm going um, to go through the making of this record that I did. Actually, it's a commercial uh, music that I heard on on TV. So I figure I'd go ahead and redo it again. So um, what I do is um, I go in and I show you guys how I did the sample on the record. So let's go. All right, so pretty much, um, I'll let you guys. This is what I sampled. So let's go ahead and um, all right, I went ahead and sampled this music right here. So I'll let you hear what I did real fast. Play it. I feel terrible. I know how to make you feel better. So what do you think? Okay, so pretty much I tried to find that music and I couldn't find the music. So what I did was I took the sample and um, let's find the sample. See if I can find it. Let's find the whole thing real fast for you guys so you can hear. I couldn't find the music anywhere, so pretty much this is what I did. Alright, this is the sample. How to make how, how, how to make you feel better. How to make how to make you feel better. Alright, so pretty much sample. <laughs> I feel terrible. I know how to make you feel better. All right, so pretty much I took the loop, which is this. Okay, and I came up with this. Well, it's just the same loop. It's just pretty much chopped in. Same. So what I did was um I used the patch phrase join, you know, the patch phrase to give me all the chop. So did the patch phrase and I went down to the program editor and I slowed it down. So instead of it being, you know, the original tempo. I gave it this. All right, so. All right, so. I don't know why that quit on me, but. Let's reopen that real fast. They need to update this software because it's retarded how it just, you know, just crashes on you. I'm not even really processing anything, just going through the sample loop. So, pretty much loading up all the samples and the programs and stuff, everything that I used. And um, let's go back to it so I can let you hear what I had again real fast. So that's the that's the loop. Uh, this is how I program the loop. So. So that's how I program the loop. What I do is I'm gonna go ahead and just play the whole song so you guys can hear it. And then I can go back and I'll show you what instruments and everything that I use as far as with the mixes and everything. So this is the song. <laughs> 
This is what I came up with from that sample. That's what I came up with. Let's go to the actual, let's go to the sequence real fast, which is the, this is the hook. So, matter of fact, go back to the whole beginning of how I created the record, which will be. Started with the sample first, so so let's add the hi hat in. It's a, um... Go to the song, and then from the you know from the commercial, from this you know part of this commercial, I heard this good keyboard, well you know good melody and everything, good beat. I couldn't find it anywhere. You know, more than likely, probably somebody um, submitted this music unless they took it from another you know um, CD or album or whatever, so that they used it from. But 
the beat that I did, I came up with this from that idea. I feel terrible. I know how to make you feel better. So I came with this. <laughs> This record not mixed in MPC. I export this over. Actually, I export it over into Logic. But um, you know, I was searching on form. I got Pro Tools, Logic Nine, and Logic X all running in the MPC, all running on um, OS ten point eight point five. So you know, pretty much. Um, you can run all three of these, well, all four of these, and they'll work, you know, flawlessly. You won't get no, um, you, you get some crashes just from the program not being stable from the updates, but, you know, pretty much, um, you couldn't run Logic Pro, say, if you had, like, a lower version of OS 10, you had to have, like, you got to have 10.8.5. You can't have 10.8, it won't run. And then if you go up to 10.9, Pro Tools won't run. This is Pro Tools 8 LE, you know, so um, I ain't upgrade to, you know, uh, 11 or 10. I have Express, but Express is limited. So I'm pretty much all I really need is for mixing. Make sure you subscribe, leave some comments. Um, I'm always looking for feedback. I'm open, I'm humble. So, you know, this is just what we do. Something, you know, some people take it as a profession, some take it as a hobby. I feel though you do the love, you do it for the love, and then eventually it becomes a profession. You try to do it for profession, sometimes you get frustrated and it'll work out for you. So, um, leave some comments, and I'll be back with more vids. Thanks for watching.